Alrighty, so this is an implementation that we built out pretty recently here. Bruno was kind of our lead developer on this, helped me sort out kind of the nitty gritty of how we were going to go about implementing this uh, for one of my clients, actually. And essentially, the goal of this is selective lead or activation for account based prospecting. Now, that's obviously a mouthful. Essentially, what the goal is here is let's say you are a company who is primarily doing prospecting and outbound kind of outreach. Um, a common approach to that is to do it on kind of an account basis, right? Where you know that this company would be a good fit for your services, products. You might not know which person at that company is the right person to chase down. And a really common mistake that gets made when you're doing account-based prospecting is over allocating time and effort to one particular account at a time. And that's bad for multiple reasons, right? One of the biggest ones is that if um, a bunch of emails start going out to a domain, and let's say five people at a company receive the same email at the same exact time of day, you're much more likely to end up in some type of company level or domain level filter. Um, whereas if you are targeting individual people sequentially, you're much less likely to get filtered into like a spam folder or a you know malicious sender type of folder. And so essentially what our, our build out here was to first define a lead source that essentially puts them in the holding pattern for activation. So while they're in that status, no emails go out to them, no tasks go out to call them, nothing. They're just waiting to be activated. Um, and then Bruno came up with a pretty clever solution where over inside of analytics, we pull a SQL table that basically surfaces one lead that's in that status per account at a given time, right? And he, he does that with a little trick that he worked out with um, the Unix timestamp. You can actually get like the first lead, right? Or the, or the newest lead and, and kind of filter it that way. Um, and so now that we have this table that basically defines one lead per account that's ready to be activated, uh, we put together a scheduled function that on a regular basis essentially reaches into that table, pulls in the lead IDs that are ready and kicks them into a new lead status that starts some automated emails and some tasks to place calls and, and kind of that active prospecting flow. Um, the nice thing is that by changing their status in CRM, they will actually exit that uh, analytics table before the next scheduled runtime. So your Senji is able to selectively add one lead per account within a given time period. We're running it kind of like every four to six hours um, while making sure that you are not, again, sending five emails to five different people at the same domain at the same time, because it's just, it's a common thing that's going to get you filtered at the end of the day. And, and this is a pretty elegant way to avoid that. Um, nice wow. thing is, is we kind of built this for one big effort that they wanted to do. But what we realized is that we can just keep it running and any time if they get a new account, a, you know, a new target, they can just drop all of them into that status and it's just going to, you know, slowly drop them into activation. Wow, his lead management's on steroids right here. I mean, that's... <laughs> yeah, it was, it's, uh, Bruno came up with the, a couple really good kind of clever ways to do the account filter. That was really the big one is, is how do we activate one per account at a time in a really right. structured way? Um, so big kudos to Bruno on this one. Um, you know, I kind of just passed him the requirement and he did the whole design here. So big shout out there. And uh, definitely one that I would imagine a lot of people doing account-based prospecting might want to take a look at. Super, super, super nice.